UNC Bioscience. The statements made in today's program have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. This is Talk 1470. Talk 1470. WNN. The thought of my sons growing up without me inspired me to quit smoking. I talked to my doctors, and then I threw away all my cigarettes, ashtrays, and lighters. I started exercising instead of smoking. Getting support from friends online kept me on track. Staying away from alcohol when I was first quitting was key. Instead of smoking after I ate, I'd get up and take a walk. I missed having a cigarette in my hand, so I'd hold a pen or a straw, anything. Until I knew I wouldn't give in to temptation, I spent more time with my friends who didn't smoke. I went to places that were smoke-free. I didn't stay quit the very first time I tried. I kept on trying, and I learned something each time. Do whatever it takes. No matter how many times it takes. I quit. I quit. I quit. We did it. So can you. You can quit. For free help, call 1-800-QUIT-NOW. A message from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and CDC. Talk 1470, WWNN, Pompano Beach, Boca Raton, Miami, Fort Lauderdale. AM 1470, WNN, with more of what you need to know. Start your day with the Steve Kane Show, Monday through Friday, 6 to 9 a.m. On South Florida's Health and Wealth Network, AM 1470, WNN. Talk health, talk wealth, talk politics. Talk 1470, WNN. The opinions expressed in the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Welcome to the Golf and Travel Show, the place to fine-tune your swing, dress for the course, club, or cruise, and get tips on the best places to play and stay at the right price. Vacation or staycation, host Dan Shube, along with his expert co-hosts and guests, will tell you where to go to play golf and vacation, that is. Now, here's Dan. And welcome to the Golf and Travel Show. I'm your host, Dan Shube, and tonight, like we do every week at this time, we're going to talk a little golf, we'll talk some travel, we'll have fun, we got some great guests, and uh, it's going to be a great show that we have in store for you tonight. And what we're going to be doing is, in a little bit later in the show, we're going to be talking to a guy who, um, he's just returned from Maui, actually, he's a table tennis professional. Uh, he's also known as the Harlem Globetrotter of table tennis. He's been dazzling fans for years and years and happens to be a good friend of mine as well. Uh, and that would be none other than Scott Price. And he's going to tell us a little bit about some tournaments he's got coming up and about his trip to Maui, which he was celebrating his 25th anniversary. And uh, I know that place myself because he actually stayed the same place that I spent my honeymoon. So uh, we'll find out a little bit more about that a little bit later in the show. And also we will be talking to Rachel Din Bokowitz, and she is the PR manager for the Gaylord National Resort and Convention Center, which is a place that I also know quite well because I spent most of this week there, and it was very, very cool, a beautiful property. I, I knew nothing about it. As a matter of fact, this was the first time that I've stayed at a Gaylord property. They've got several. Next year, I'm going to be visiting their property in Nashville, which is uh what I hear, really, really cool as well. So um, so we got some good guests later, and we'll be talking to them in just a few minutes. But first, what I'd like to do at this time is introduce you to my co-host. And that's that guy with that beautiful swing. He has it, I mean, every time, just pures it down the middle. No other than co-host Jess Frank, PGA teaching professional and owner of the Jess Frank Golf Academy at Boca Dunes Golf and Country Club right here in Boca Raton. And Jess specializes in on-course instruction with V1 video analysis. He believes every lesson and swing is different. Jess likes to focus on the scoring part of your game, the short shots taught on the golf course, which can instill a lot of confidence for you. Some of you may know him from his work at area country clubs, such as St. Andrews, Boca Lago, and Broken Sound. Just likes to teach and has a passion for the game. He just, he just loves it because golf is difficult and he makes it easy for you. And, uh, well, 
Welcome. It's good Thank to you. see you. Thank you, Dan. Good evening to you and good evening to our listeners and uh, lovely Boca Raton and uh, all it's, our listeners around the world. It's so great to be back. It, it is. We love doing the show Friday nights. This is this is awesome. And I'm excited because we got a lot of a lot of good stuff to talk about tonight. We, we do. but and, and I'm excited to be back. I mean, as much fun as it was being in our nation's capital, I, I was there on business at a convention and I didn't get to see all the sites. But I did, you know, see some of them flying in and driving by, drove right past the White House and uh, end up at the uh, portrait gallery of the Smithsonian. So I, nice. I got to see a little bit of it. But flying back, I don't know if it's because it was a smaller plane um, that I happened to have been on. Most of the time when I come into PBI, I come from the west, but this time we came right down the coast. Mm. And when you take a look and you see, well, first of all, I saw up in Hutchison Island, up near where I live, and it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. And then we're coming into land, and you go past the breakers, and you see all the beautiful mansions there in Palm Beach. And yeah, it's I, you know, the it was view. like, oh, it was yeah. so beautiful. And, and the weather here has all of a sudden yeah. gotten like... To kind of the peak Wait, time, it is, seems, all of a sudden. This is a tear. It's here, finally. I saw low 80s on the uh, thermometer in the car. I mm-hmm. love it. I was like, oh, this is this is why we're here. Yeah, and, we're and the humidity has dropped a little yeah. bit. And, yeah, and in the evenings, good. it's a little bit cooler and crisper. And yes. um, it is just lovely. Oh, it is uh, gorgeous. And I'm sure, you know, it, if you're in Washington, D.C., you might have uh, picked uh, seen POTUS uh, teeing it up somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I did drive past a um, golf course, okay. and um, it, it was fenced in um, with, you know, like metal fencing. It, it right. may have been a military golf course. I, I don't know. I couldn't find a sign that said Uh-oh. what it was. There were people out there playing, even though it was kind of overcast, rainy, yeah. um, about 60 degrees or so, not, not Florida-like at all. But I forgot, you know, what it was like to live up north, where yeah. you're just trying to get every last round you can before it's too late. I know. I they, they you know, they'll they'll dress, they'll put the uh, winter hat on and the gloves and the whole thing, hand warmers, heaters in the cart, you know, whatever it takes. When so, I was a kid, they yeah. they used to paint the golf balls like black so they mm-hmm. could play in the snow. I mean, yeah. now of course they have colored golf balls, but back then they didn't. No, and no. um you would see people out there in the snow. <laughs> It's like <laughs> no. Once once the snow hit the ground, I was you know growing up in Chicago. That was it. I mean, I was I was on the basketball anyways after yeah. the golf season there. Well, you usually had a better did. team than we did in New York. Yeah. So that's why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, playing anyways. Uh, okay. yeah, I thought you know, you the Bulls. Rooting. Well, uh, yeah, they were better than pretty much anyone anyways. But uh, and of course, MJ is a big golfer. But uh, yeah, you can say yeah, that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, no, it's. Uh, I mean, this is this is the best time of year. It comes now, and then it's going to stay cool, and then it gets. Right, a little. I mean, it drops to the sometimes in the sixties here, but uh, we'll be all right. We'll hang and and in there. like I always like to say, as much as we inform people about where they can leave from here to go, right. anybody who's listening who is yeah. not here, please come visit us. Yeah, and you know what happens this time of year is when all our friends from up north come on down, and, and it's great because they they love to play golf and uh, they they definitely support our economy. That's for sure. And mm-hmm. so it's really. Uh, you know, it makes for a great season. And do, you, do you have a lot of seasonal clients who you only see um, in the winter months? You know what? I have a mix. Um, I stay busy the whole year, but I definitely uh, have my seasonal clients. They'll come down and they'll, um, you know, they'll either find me on the website or, uh, you know, or somewhere that uh, somebody recommends them that I'm helping somebody's game and they recommend, you know. So there's, uh, you know, I definitely have a mix of uh, clients and, you know, I've only gotten busier over the last couple of years, so it's, which is a good thing. So and I'm, the, I'm the weather, while it's wonderful for your clients, if they have like an hour less and they're out there for an hour, but you obviously could be out there for many hours, so it must really be wonderful for oh, you. Especially after this crazy hot summer, you know, and, and just, you know, I'd, I'd stand on a lesson to you for four or five hours and it was drenched afterwards. I mean, I had to change shirts three times. So, uh, but like I said, I don't, I don't mind it. I mean, I, li- I like it. I don't have to shovel anything. That's why I always tell people, I go, can be as hot as you want because they don't have to shovel a thing. So I just just drink a lot of ice water. That's all. So there you go. You're fine. So you were out there today yes. in this beautiful weather, and you probably oh, had some great I, clients I, out I, there. And there's probably some pearls of wisdom s- that you you imparted so, to somebody that you can share with our <laughs> listeners, right? I'm so excited um, to uh, to to give the value uh, them for all of our listeners, and to you know to uh, to help people with their games and. Something that I I always and I probably talked about this before on the show, but I I think one of the one of the best tips that for for playing golf is that you know people get so caught up in trying to hit at the golf ball and trying to do funky things to get the ball in the air, and if they just swing through the ball and make a uh, just a one follow through one piece follow through finish 
And all they focus on is their follow through and swinging through the golf ball. I, it works wonders. I mean, you, you just can't believe how many people I'll see that take these huge divots because they're chopping at the golf ball. People like Charles Barkley. It, that's it, that's it, that, that golf ball just, it's this little tiny golf ball. You know, it's nothing, it's not even as big as a tennis ball. And, and you're just, all you're doing is just you're making a motion and you're swinging through the golf ball. You know, you're swinging to your finish and the ball gets in the way. And that's why these, the guys on tour are so good because they're always working on their, their sequencing and their, and their weight transfer and finishing to a balanced finish. And it's just really, I, I mean, it's something that, you know, I, I hear a lot of, a lot of high end, top end golf pros talk about. And, and it's amazing that, that people just, you know, they get caught up with that golf ball and, you know, and, and what happens is that it's, it's a downhill, it's a downhill ride because what happens is that they, they'll top a shot. I thought you said for a second it's a downhill ride because we're going to be talking about Hawaii lately. Yeah, it might so. be a downhill ride. That would actually be kind of cool. Um, but, uh, what happens is they, they top their first shot and then their buddies or whoever well-meaning spouses tell you, oh, keep your head down, keep your head down. Well, the next thing you know is that you're topping more, you're chopping more and then your body stops moving. And so, and, and then so when you write that score down, your head yeah, is really yeah, down. And you're, you're, everything, yeah, you know, just and you're, down right, in right, general. <laughs> right in the right in the Bud Light bucket. But uh, but uh, no, it, it, if you do golf is interesting because if you do the opposite of what you normally do, you yeah, you're, you're a low be, score. It's yeah, yeah, high exactly. Score. <laughs> use the pen, use the eraser. But uh, but no, it's uh, it's just something that you can you know anybody can do it if you just swing you know swing through the ball and not at it. To a balanced finish, you're gonna you're gonna do a lot better. I mean, it's just gonna, it's it's gonna improve your game, and it, and it's interesting because I always like working on my game, and so when I can, and and I'll just you know practice just going to my finish. You know, that's it, just going to my finish, and and you know it, it eliminates so many thoughts, and and really takes you know makes the game a little easier because it's really not that complicated if you think about it. Um, and people just, you know, overthink it and, and put a lot, you know, way too much, uh, you know, way too much effort into it when it should be effortless power, not powerless effort. So, yeah, I, I always find that, um, you know, you're saying how you have to swing through the ball and it's got to be like a smooth motion. I almost feel like when I'm swinging well, it's, it's like a, um, grandfather clock, you yeah. know, with, with the motion. When, yeah. when it just go back and back, yeah, you know yeah. what? Back and forward, back and forward. Yeah, and it, it's, it makes it's like it, that tick tock kind of a, a rhythm. Yes. It makes it real easy. I mean, VJ Singh does a ton of tempo drills. I mean, I know he always did that and, uh, that was something that made him really, really good. And, um, you know, yeah, it's just, it's something if you, if you take away the hit impulse, you're going to be a lot more successful. So, you know, just swing through the ball, not at it. And you're so going you to have be a good think player. grandfather clock, not cuckoo clock. <laughs> Golf will drive you cuckoo. But, uh, yes, grandfather, grandfather clock is a lot better than uh, the cuckoo clock. Well, yeah, and it, and it will drive you crazy. But um, I, I got to tell you, I haven't, uh, I'm going to try and tee it up myself, you know, due yes, to my surgery. Excellent. I haven't been able to play for a long time, so I'm, right. I'm starting to get ready. And, and, you know, there's nothing worse than being told you can't play for, you know, six oh. weeks or eight weeks or, or yeah, whatever, especially when, you, especially when you're in Florida. Yeah, exactly. You know, and, so. you're, and you love the game and you want to get out there and it's fun and, you know, it's a good it's a good way to, to get your mind off stuff. Well, yeah, so I'm I'm ready and and I'm going to be playing at at the Mission Inn again next month. They invited me back there for the continuing celebration for their 50th anniversary. So, um uh it's a beautiful beautiful resort and and awesome. I'm looking forward. So, I think I need to get a little bit of practice in before I go up there and embarrass myself. Nah, so, you're uh, a natural. It's just like riding a bike. Come on, you're just, you're just you, you know, we we we've had so many tips on here, especially the guy with the putting book uh, a couple weeks oh, ago. I, know, I, I know. mean, you you just you have all the answers now. Uh, yeah, that's the problem. With all in my head, I got to sort all that mess out, you know. It's, how many swing thoughts am I allowed? Oh, none? no, no. None. <laughs> none. No, 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 no swing thoughts. No swing thoughts. I know. Just tick yeah, tock. Yeah, just tick tock. <laughs> tick tock. <laughs> tempo, tempo, tick tock. I, I yeah. have to keep remembering that. Keep but, it going. Um, all right. Well, I think what we're going to do is, is I think now that we're done with your tips, um, yeah. And there you go, in the th- hole. There you Love go. It. I think what we're going to do is take a quick break and then we'll be back. And, and, uh, we're going to talk about some really interesting travel options that I have and, and some things that are going on also right here in our backyard that are kind of unusual and unique. So uh, we'll be back with awesome. more of the golf and travel show. Stay tuned.
And we are back, and uh, that's that's your life, huh? Just hitting on the back it of the range. It's a it's a beautiful thing. I, I mean, know. I, I know life could be worse. And you, know? you get to hit at a beautiful back of uh, range as well. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Absolutely, and and the home of the Just Frank Golf Academy. And I'll tell you what, Dan, the, the course is in unbelievable condition right now. We have a brand new superintendent who's been with Boca Dunes now for over a year. Came came from a really nice private club in the area. And uh, he has made that course look really good, and those greens are running fast too. So, uh, but you know, we're going to talk a little bit about Boca Dunes Country Club, which is Boca Raton's premier golf and special event experience, featuring 18 holes of championship golf and amenities perfect for your next event. Boca Dunes is quite simply the perfect choice. You will always find a friendly face and a commitment to service, unlike any other club in the area. Whether you're looking to tee it up on our challenging links. Or planning an unforgettable occasion, your time spent at Boca Dunes will be memorable. Boca Dunes also offers a full-service catering. Take a look at the wedding packages and create your dream wedding. Trained catering and event professionals will help you with a menu your guests will love. We have the experience and facility to accommodate 25 to 200 guests. Cocktails can be served on our covered veranda while your guests enjoy the view of our championship golf course. So if you have any questions, please call Boca Dunes at 561-451-1600. That number again is 561-451-1600. Or visit them at bocadunes.com. That's bocadunes.com. Take a sad song and make it better. Remember to let her into your heart Then you can start to make it better Hey Jude And we are back and a uh, little bit of Beatles there. And, Love and, it. And, and you know, I, I just was in Washington at the Gaylord and we're going to talk a little bit more about that later in the show, but they did have a band called the Fab Four performing mm. for my convention for the closing event. And nice. these are one of the better uh, uh, Beatlemania uh, type shows that they oh have. And uh, not only do they look exactly like them, they sound exactly like them. And uh, they had a bunch of um, go-go dancers with them on the stage and a uh, guy who was impersonating Ed Sullivan as well. Wow, and, um, what a show. It, it was very, very cool. And, and uh, I, I had a great time in Washington. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that later. But there were I wanted to talk about some other things that are going on around the world in some interesting places. And um, across my, my desk or my computer, I often get some information about some stuff that's going on here, there, and far away, and you name it. And, and I saw this, and it just kind of tickled me somehow. I don't know why, but um, it's a place that I've always been curious about and wanted to go uh, because of the mystique, because of the uh, interesting cuisine, which um, is uh, French Moroccan, mm-hmm. and, um, and that would be uh, in Marrakesh. Uh, you know, where you can go to the market and you can get your, you know, hand woven rugs and, um, just, it's just a very fascinating place to me. And it's not the kind of place that you would think of for playing golf. No. Oh. Uh, you see, you didn't think you'd no, go there and play no, golf, did definitely you? Definitely not. not. Marrakech? No. It was, it was not the first on your Never list. Never thought but, of it. But, um, in any event, they've got a brand new course that's opening up and, um, it, it just looked really intense to me. I mean, I, to be honest with you, other than, you know, what you might see in an old movie or something, you know, at uh, Rick's Cafe or something like that. Um, <laughs> um, you really don't know what, I don't know what Marrakesh would look like outside of the markets and the cities and the, you know, whatever the interesting architecture perhaps that they have there. But this is a golf course that's a desert golf course. And by the way, we're talking about it. I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to say it incorrectly, but it's called a Sufid golf course. A S S O U F I D golf club. And this is in, in Marrakesh. And um, behind the golf course, which is a desert terrain, so it's, you know, picture, you know, Arizona, you know, when the PGA Tour is out there or something. It has that, that kind of a look with snow-capped mountains called the Atlas Mountains behind it. And it, it, I just, wow. it just struck me, it, it, you know, and this is a beautiful high-end yeah. golf design. We're taking a look at these photos here oh, um, with beautiful palm trees and, wow. you know, your your typical desert um, areas of, well, look of at rough. The, I mean, like the greenery and just the trees and the backdrop. I mean, that's that's amazing. I mean, it's really, I, I mean, it's just, uh, we got to go. 
I know. Marrakech. I, 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 Morocco. I mean, who would have thunk it, right? Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I, it just, I, I, I saw these pictures and I, and I just couldn't believe it. it. It's only 20 minutes outside of the old town, you know, where you could go to the market and all the World Heritage uh, sites and see the, the ancient um, city and beautiful uh, hotels and uh, residences yeah. and, <coughs> yeah. excuse me, golf course. Um, um, and that, how can you go wrong? I mean, a beautiful golf course like this with all that history and, and yeah. dining, I, I don't know. I just thought it was really cool. So no, if anybody beautiful. else uh, wants to find out about it, like I say, it's called a Sufid Golf Club in Marrakesh. And you can go to their website, which is, of course, asufid.com, yeah. and you can see the pictures and, and stuff get, that I was looking at. Yeah, you got the Atlas Mountains, and it's just uh, really, I mean, just beautiful. I, I, really, I, I mean, know. let's let's go. Uh, yeah, right. Fire up the jet. Exactly. We have to. <laughs> we got to be back by Friday, though. That's all. That's the only requirement. Yeah. Now, the the other thing that that caught my eye as well is a um, celebration that's going on here in our backyard in Fort Lauderdale, which mm. is literally just a couple of miles up the road from where we're sitting. And uh, this is an event from Princess Cruise Lines, and they do uh, obviously a lot of their ships do sail, especially in the winter time from the the port here in Fort Lauderdale. Right. And um, they go down to the Caribbean, and they also uh, other times of the year, you know, their, their boats or ships are elsewhere, of course, whether they're in California or um, Europe. And uh, they've got a new ship that uh, is called the the Regal Princess, and they're going to have a naming ceremony right here in Fort Lauderdale on November fifth. And of course, Princess has a long history, and part of their history includes uh, TV. Mm-hmm. Of course, the original love love boat. boat. <laughs> there you go. Um, that was do, them. Do, 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 do. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I digress. That's, that's okay. <laughs> and um, but what was really cool about the love boat? Not only did they have a phenomenal cast, and um, they they also every week had really cool guest stars. And mm-hmm. you know, you can say what you want about the show, but these were some really big name guest stars that yeah, they would have. Absolutely. And uh, the the show was. Um, you know, it, it was produced by Aaron Spelling, who's no longer with us, and they've invited his daughter, Tori, to come and be um, the official master of ceremonies uh, to christen the, the boat uh, as the regal princess, you know, with a whole a whole big party going on there. But uh, so they do have every single member of the cast is going to be showing up. Wow. So that would include uh, Gavin McLeod, who uh, was Captain Steubing, of Captain course. Captain Steubing. And yes. uh, Fred Grandy, who was Gopher, the chief purser. Nice. Um, and uh, Ted now, Lang, now, my wasn't favorite. Wasn't he Isaac. the one that was a, a congressman as well, yeah. I think, out yeah, of Missouri yeah. or something, yeah, or, yeah. or Washington? Oh, I loved Isaac. He was my favorite I, the, on the yeah, show. Yeah, I've, I've seen him on a few <laughs> other shows playing himself, of course, the, himself <laughs> as in the love boat right, himself, right, the bartender, right, right. of course. Yeah. Um, and uh, Bernie Koppel, who was the ship's doctor. Doc. And L- Lauren Tews, Tweez, or Tews, however you pronounce that, Julie, yep. the cruise director, and Jill Whalen, who was Vicky, Vicky the captain's daughter. Yep. All of them are going to be there. But um, also, what was even more fascinating to me is the list of the um, guest stars. Yeah, pretty who, amazing. Yeah, listen to some of these names of these folks who, who guest starred who are going to be showing up as well. Uh, Lonnie Anderson. And um, who, of course, had a long history with our own Burt Reynolds, sure, who, who you know lives down here. Uh, Joyce DeWitt, Jamie Farr, Pam Greer, Florence Henderson, Jack Jones, Christopher Knight, Diane Ladd, Lorenzo Lamas, Carol Lawrence, Rich Little, Christy McNichol, Lee Merriweather, Don Most, Tracy Nelson, Mackenzie Phillips, Doris Roberts, Marion Ross, Frank Sinatra Jr., Charlene Tilton, Joan Van Ark, Dick Van Patten, and Adrian Zmed. Wow. Um, and in addition, uh, Charo is going to be giving a classical guitar performance that evening, too. What a star-studded I, cast I, I, there. That, that's crazy. That's amazing. That I must mean, be 10, yeah. 10, 15 years' worth of shows' oh, worth yeah. of guests. I, well, I, I, well I Aaron know. Spelling, he's the producer of the show, so, I mean, it's really, uh, you know, it's it's pretty neat. Pretty well, cool it's, it's 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 very very neat, and um, a, a good friend of mine. He only goes on princess cruises wherever he goes. He's taken them in Europe. He's taken them here in right. the Caribbean, and th- it seems that they do a really good job. But I got to tell you, they also know how to throw a party. Oh, amazing. And um, so so this ship, like I said, it's it's it'll be christened on November fifth, or at least given its name, and uh, it's a naming ceremony. And um, all year long, it's also a 50th anniversary that they're celebrating, too. So this is part of it. And they have 18 cruise ships that are all going to be celebrating. So if you go on any of their cruise ships, they've got special events going on um, for this uh, uh, anniversary celebration. Mm-hmm. And you can get more information, of course, by going to their website, which is princess.com. Cool. 
So that's just some of my interesting that's, things that I I dug up. So, that's awesome. I don't know. And, and and I have to say that the uh, you know I'd be remiss if I didn't say that the Frank family added another future golfer to the uh, to oh. the world. We have a I have a new uh, baby niece, new client. Yeah, new client, <laughs> Eliana Marin Frank, uh, formerly known as Bunny. Um, so she is uh, she's really cute, and uh, I know. She's going to be uh, a tour star one day. I can already so see Bunny, it. So Bunny's usually the one who likes to be the first one out in the morning. It's like they call it the, the rabbits or whatever, right? They like to get an early start and play a two-hour round. So yeah. Bunny might yeah, be pretty much. speed golf. Yeah, she's a speed golfer. I, already, I, can, I can see it already. She's got strong hands, and, and she was already making some pronation moves with her left arm. So I think. So you think it's genetic? Yes, yes. It runs runs in the family. I mean, my brother's a pretty good pretty good player, and uh, you know, I think he passed along his genes. But um, you know, it's uh, it's it's going to be good. I have to believe that a lot of it is definitely genetic, because <laughs> for some of us, it's much more of a struggle, and other yeah. people they just take to it so easily. You know, yeah. you just put a club in their hands, and they're off, and the rest of us make it so difficult. And right. I think that's the genetics well, for sure. Well, his other daughter, Cora, uh, my other niece, uh, she um, she she's just already has taken to the game. She's got a little uh, set of clubs, plastic clubs, and she'll go right on the golf course and swing and. I think she's a natural too. So. Well, minimum we expect scholarships. Right? Yeah, 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 scholarships definitely. We we got to have that. My brother's hoping for that, so he doesn't have to pay for school. But uh, um, definitely, uh, they're they're they're. I think they're going to be good athletes. At least uh, his wife is a good athlete. She was a national runner, so uh, you know, I think she uh, has she ever come on. back. <laughs> No, just, I doubt it. Just yeah, keeps, she just keeps just keeps, keeps running. Keeps, keeps running. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's a whole other story. Uh, but uh, but yeah, we're excited to to announce that and uh, very happy. And uh, yeah, she's in good shape. So very very cool. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you said that you might might have one extra tip for tonight, a bonus tip. Oh, the did, bonus tip. Did you yes, have that? yes, yeah. It kind of goes into the same, uh, very similar. Uh, I see so many people keeping their head down. And and something that um, that I try to tell people constantly that that the golf swing happens in a clap of emotion. So from from the from the top of your swing, one clap, that's your that's your golf swing. You're done. So there's so many extra movements of people trying to do stuff that if you can finish your golf swing in a clap and not keep your head down, you're gonna swing through the golf ball and just do so much better than. Somebody who you know is trying to keep their head down and staying back, and what keep and, and this happens to better players too. Uh, it, what happens is that they keep their head down, their weight stays on their back foot, and so they they ground the club out from behind, and so you know you don't hit it as solid. I mean, you might get lucky, but you can hit it thin, you can hit it you know to the right, you can hit it fat behind it, and and by keeping your head down too much, you know that's definitely not gonna not gonna help your game. So the one thing I do tell people. Is that I want them to, to somebody who's take, keeping their head down too much. I want them to finish all the way with all their weight on the front foot, and I want their right shoulder to be level. I want their shoulders to be level to the ground, and not where the right shoulder goes way down and their left shoulder goes way up. So, so basically, if you can do that, if you can let your head, it's almost like an Annika Sorenstam or David Duval swing, where you swing through, get your shoulders level on your follow through with your chest and your and your stomach facing the target. Um, that's going to help your game too. So it's a combination of swinging through the ball, you know, letting your head turn, not keeping your head down, and just finishing on balance. And I guarantee you're going to hit at least a few good shots that way. So that clap is not to be confused with a golf clap. That's just it's more of a. <laughs> of it's those, a quick right? clap. Boom, okay, and you're there, done. There you go. No thinking. All right. Well, that's your your bonus. Bonus. Uh, I love giving the bonus. bonus. There you go. Thank you. So all. I think what we're going to do is we will go to another quick break, and uh, then we will come back, and uh, we're going to be talking to my good friend Scott Price, the uh, professional table tennis player, the Harlem Globetrotter of table tennis, and uh, he's uh, been a former trainer with the U.S. World Table Tennis Team, and uh, he's based out of uh, Colorado Springs right by the Olympic Training Center, mm-hmm. and it's quite fascinating, and we'll get his take on uh, on Maui. Awesome. So we'll be back in just a minute. Stay tuned. Cinderella story out of nowhere. A former greenskeeper now about to become the Masters champion. <clears throat> it looks like I'm a wreck. It's in the hole!